is yes. Uh, a man cannot look at on any other woman. Uh, can he look at that special or specific lady whom he thinking of marriage? The answer is yes. Can a man uh, give knowledge to woman as uh, her haq mahar? Answer is yes. Mm. At the time of marriage, uh, the bride has something during the marriage and that is called mahar. This is just a point. What shall a Muslim do after reaching uh, or attaining the age of puberty? A Muslim should do nikah to fulfill his or her, her need in a halal way. Uh, in order to avoid the haram things. If he or she cannot do nikah, then they should fast. Only this semester. Auz billahi minish shaitan irajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Today we will study Sahih al-Muslim. The name of the book is Sahih al-Muslim. Hadith number Two to five. Read this and this. Abu Huraira narrated uh, from Muhammad, the messenger of Allah, and uh, uh, peace be upon him. And he quoted several ahadis, including the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, The salat of one of you will not be accepted when he commits hadas until he performs voodoo. So hadas mean those things which break the voodoo. So when our wudu is broken, we cannot perform the salah. Salah will not be accepted. So for salah, we you must be in the state of wudu. Okay. This page is missing. Okay, next student, Miss Sara. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Read this one. It was narrated from uh, Huram, the freed slave of Uthman, that he saw Uthman call for a vessel of water. He poured some water onto his hands three times and washed them. Then he put his right hand into the vessel took out water and reunited his mouth and nose. Then he washed his face three times and his hands up to the elbows three times. Then he wiped his head. Then he washed his, his feet three times. So then he said, the messenger of Allah, of Allah وسلم, said, whoever perform, whoever performs wudu as I have just done it, then prayers to rakahs, prayers to rakahs in which he doesn't let his mind wander will be forgiven his uh, previous sins. So here we have two things. First thing, how to perform wudu, which is mentioned mm. in detail in this hadith. And second mm. thing, after the wudu, we better perform two rakahs salah. So mm. everybody write the question. What is so, recommended? What, um, is, for, mm -hmm. what is recommended to be done after wudu? Perform two rakahs. Yes, perform two rakah. Mm. Then write. So it will be forgiven his previous sins. Yes. If he does not think about anything else during these two raka, then his previous sin will be forgiven. Yes. So the complete answer is it is recommended um, to perform two raka salah. And uh, if anyone does not think any about anything during these two raka, then his previous sin will be forgiven. Hmm. Miss Sabina, what is the question and answer here? Miss Sabina. <laughs> what is recommended to be done after Vadu? 
answer is perform two rakas salas after wudu and if he does not think uh, anything else during these two rakah of salah then uh, his uh, sins will be forgiven we will see you now in the next one it was narrated that uh, mahamran the freed slave of usman said i had usman bin affan while he was in the courtyard of the masjid and the muazzin came to him at the time of asr he called for water for wudu and performed wudu then he said my by allah i am going to tell you a hadith which were it not for a verse in the book of allah i would not have told you i heard the messenger of allah peace be upon you say no muslim man performs wudu and performs wudu well then performs salat but he will be forgiven for whatever sins come between that and the salat which follows okay so same question is uh, repeated in this one then we studied in the previous hadith so next student miss sara tell me the question and answer for this what he recommended the uh, between uh, between salah and um, uh, after salah after wudu and after salah if anyone perform uh, perform uh, salah and make two rak'ahs allah azza wa jalla will make uh, forgiven his sins between uh, salah and wudu repeat your question because i think there is a mistake there repeat the question i can say it was arabic okay you can say in arabic no problem what yes la yatawadda rajulun muslimun fa yuhsinu al-wudu fa yusalli salah illa ghafa illa ghufira lahu ma baynahu wa bayna as-salati allati taliha iza iza tawadda wa ahsana al-wudu thumma salla rak'atayn ghafara allah lahu ما بين الصلاة والصلاة التي يقيمها بعدها يعني يصلي ركعتين الله يغفر له ما بين الصلاة صلاة الركعتين دول وبعدهم صلاة تانية يعني لو يصلي بعد الظهر مثلا ركعتين وبعدين العصر أدا فالله يغفر له الزنوب ما بين ركعتين الظهر وصلاة العصر ولكن ما السؤال قطبنا هنا السؤال ما الذي يعني السواب الذي يوصل الله عز وجل به المؤمن بعد الوضوء وإحسان والصلاة ركعتين يعني هيأخذ سواب إيه؟ السؤال هنا ماذا يجب علينا أن نفعل بعد الوضوء؟ صحيح؟ آه ماشي السؤال هو ماذا يجب علينا أن نفعل بعد الصلاة بعد الوضوء بعد الوضوء؟ آه نصلي ركعتين Now read this hadith. Now read this hadith in English. It was narrated that Humran said when Osman performed wudu, he said, by Allah, I am going to tell you a hadith which by Allah were it not for a verse in the book of Allah. I wouldn't tell it. I wouldn't tell it to you. I heard the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say, no man performs wudu, performs wudu and does it well, then performs salah, but he will be forgiven for whatever sins come uh, between that and the salah which follows it. Mesh. So here and in the previous hadith also same thing is repeated. And also oh. we need to notice one more thing. I am going to tell you hadith which by Allah were it not mm. words. This means this I have readily those who conceal the clear proof, evidence and guidance. So basically we cannot conceal, we cannot hide good things from other people. If we have the knowledge of hadith and Quran, we better for share it with others. To avoid this. Mm. Things 
Next student is Sabina. Read this. Uh, Ishaq bin Said bin Amir bin Said bin Al as uh, narrated. My father told me that his father said I was with Usman and he called for water for purification. He said, I heard the messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon you, say, there is no Muslim man who, when the time for a Salat Maktubah, prescribed prayer, comes, perform wudu well, focuses with proper humility in his prayer and bows properly. But it will be an expiation for the sins that came before it so long as he did not commit any major sin, and that applies for all time. So, same question and answer is repeated in this hadith as well. Then one more thing is this that it is recommended to wash each part three times. It is not necessary, but it is recommended. The sunnah. Uh, sir, uh, this shows that uh, nobody does a proper perfect wudu. It is just uh, it's a it's a um, ritual so that we can avoid the sins between wudu and uh, the salat follows by that followed by that. Wudu. Yes, if you do the wudu perfectly and perform to rakat salat, then you can achieve this thing. It is uh, Tahiyatul Vadu, we say that. Uh, yes. Tahiyatul. Here we right? call it Tahiyatul Vadu. Okay, Miss Sara, read this one. It was narrated that Jami' Ibn Shaddad Ibn Shaddad Abu Abu Sakra Yes. Abu Sakra uh, said, I heard uh, Humran ibn uh, Abiyan say, I used to bring water from uh, perfection. Purification. Uh, purification to Uthman, and there was no day when he, he didn't bathe with <coughs> small amount of water. Uthman said, the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us when we were returning from his prayer, mm, uh, Major? Misar said. Misar. Misar said, I think it was Usr. I don't know. Should I tell you about something or not? We said, oh, messenger of, of Allah, it's not then Allah and his messenger no best. He said there is no Muslim who perfects himself and does purifies. Purifies in Arabic means yatataharu. Yatatahar. Uh, purifies himself and does so properly in the manner enjoyed by Allah. Then offers. The, these five prayers but they will be they will be an exhibition exhibition for whatever of sin sin comes in between so here we need to write the question mm. ما من مسلم يتطهر فيتم الطهور الذي كتب الله عليه فيصلي ركعته اه ما الذي يجب علينا بعد التطهر لا 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 what happens when we pray five salah five ليه اه صح مش كانت كفارات لما بينهن الصلوات الخمس بعد الصلوات الخمس كانت كفارات لما بينهن okay so in English, we will write the question. Uh, so what will they happen? Will be and uh, mesh. What, listen to the question. What will happen when anyone performs the purification or uh, performs wudu properly 
and pray the mm -hmm. five salah properly. The answer oh. is his. They will be an exhibition be... for oh, an exhibition for whatever of them comes in between. Correct. So this will be an expiation for whatever sin he did between these prayers. Oh. Yes. Next student. Sabina, what is the question and answer here? The uh, <clears throat> question is, what will happen when uh, we pray five times? And uh, perform the wudu properly. And, 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 perform, and perform the wudu properly. So there will be an expi expiation for whatever um, sins. sins comes in between. Yes. Sins comes in between. We committed between these prayers. Okay. So if you do proper wudu in Fajr and pray proper salah in Fajr and then do you do the same thing in Zuhr, then the sins that you committed between Fajr and Zuhr will be forgiven. Now read this one. It was narrated that Jamai bin Shaddad said, I heard Hamrad bin Aban telling Abu Barda in this masjid during the governorship of Bish, Bishr that Usman bin Affan said the messenger of Allah <clears throat> sallallahu alaihi wasallam peace be upon him said whoever perform wudu properly as enjoined by Allah the most high then the five prescribed prayers will be an expiation for whatever sin comes in between this is the hadith of Okay, same thing is repeated. Tell me the question and answer again. What will happen when we perform five times uh, prayer and perform wud proper wudu? Answer is there will be an expiation uh, for whatever sins comes in between. Miss Sarah, read between the wudu now. and salah. Now, Miss Sarah, read this one. In, uh, it, <coughs> it was narrated that Humran, the freed slave of Uthman, said Uthman ibn Affan performed wudu one day and performed wudu well. Then he said, I saw the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam performing wudu and doing it well. Then he said, he said, whoever performs wudu like this, then goes out to the masjid with no motive other than the prayer his previous sins will be forgiven. So the, the question is what happened uh, after uh, make wudu? Uh, what will happen when anyone perform proper wudu and goes to the masjid oh. without any worldly motive. اللي هي معناها بالعربي بالعربي من أحسن من توضع وأحسن الوضوء والكلمة اللي هي التانية دي إيه بقى؟ ماذا سيحدث إذا رجل يتوضع ويذهب إلى المسجد بدون أي سبب دنيوي؟ آه. The answer will be motive. Motive. Yes. Hmm. Then the answer will be the answer. His sins will be forgiven. Will be, um, his previous sins will be forgiven. Correct. Hmm. Miss, his uh, previous sins will be forgiven. Yes. Miss Abu, what is the question and answer here? When a person yeah. perform wudu and and go to the masjid without any other intention other than prayer, his previous sin would be forgiven. Correct. Read this one. It was narrated. It was narrated from Umrah. Umrah, the freed slave of Udman, that Udman been. Afan said, I heard the message of Allah said, whoever perform wudu 
for prayer and does it well, then walks to the obligatory prayer and offers the prayer with the people or with the congre congregation or in the masjid, Allah will, Allah will forgive him his sins. Same question and answer is repeated here. Miss Sabina, tell me the question and answer. So the previous one or this one? Okay, then, what will happen if it, uh, what will happen if anyone perform a uh, proper wudu and goes out to masjid without any worldly motive except prayer? Uh, the answer is his previous sins will be forgiven. Okay. Okay, now read this hadith. It was narrated from Abu Huraira that the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, the obligatory five daily prayers from one Juma to the next are an expiation for whatever sins come in between so long as one does not commit major sins. So five daily prayers are expiation for our minor sins that we commit daily. Okay. Write this sentence. Do we have to write no, no need to write any question. Just write one sentence here. Five daily prayers are expiation for the sins that for expiation for the minor sins that we commit daily. Miss Sarah, read this one. It was narrated that uh, uh, that Uqba ibn, uh, ibn Amir said, we were charged with taking care of the camels. When my turn came, I brought them back in the evening and found the messenger of Allah sallam, standing up, addressing the people I caught up with him when we when he was saying there is no Muslim who performs wudu and does it well. Then stands and prayer and prays two rak'ah in which his heart is focused as he he, he faced the qibla, but paradise will be due to him. I said how would how was this? Someone who was in front of me said what came before it was even better. I looked and saw that it was it was Omar um, uh, um, Ammar. He said, I see that you have just come. He said, there is no one among you who performs wudu and does it and does it completely or he said Face, face, but eh? Again, Fayus 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 or he said Fayus Bihu, then says, A shadow, a shadow, Allah, Ilaha, Illallah. وأن محمد الرسول وأن محمد عبد عبد ورسول عبد ورسول. I bear witness that none has the right to to be worshipped to worship be worshipped, but Allah and that Muhammad is His slave and messenger. But the eight gates of paradise will be open to him, and he will enter through whichever one he wishes. Israel, Israel. توضأ وأصبغ الوضوء وصلى ركعتين وتوجه إلى القبلة وتوجه إلى القبلة ماذا نفعل بعد الوضوء؟ آه بعد الوضوء يقول أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأن محمد رسول
ثم opened all doors for Jannah. Ten ten doors for Jannah. Uh, he entered from, from it. Awab al Jannat is Samania. Sahi. Ah. So, students. Mesh. Ah. Everyone, write this question here. What shall we say after making wudu? The answer is. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa na Muhammadan abduhu wa rasulu. Then you need to write one more sentence. Anyone who do this or anyone who say this, eight mm. doors of paradise will mm. be opened for him, mm. inshallah. Eight doors of inshallah. paradise will be yes. opened for mm. him, inshallah. Mm. Okay, Miss Amina, what is the question and answer here? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum. So the question is, what to say when you finish what do? Mm -hmm. And you will say, Ashadu on la ilaha illallah, wa anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasulu. And whoever says so, eight doors of the paradise will be opened for him. <clears throat> okay, now read this again. This is Another description of wudu. It was narrated from Umar ibn Yahya ibn Umar from his father from Abdullah ibn Sayyid ibn Asim al Ansari, who was a companion of the Prophet, peace be upon him. He said it was said to him before wudu, before wudu for us at the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam did it. He called for a vessel of water. And the blood come of it into his hands and wash them three times. Then he put his his hand in and brought it out and taste his mouth and nose using one handful and he did not and he did that sorry and he did that three times. Then he put his hand in and brought it out and washed his face three times. Then he put his hand in and brought it out and washed his hand up to the elbows, washing each one twice. Then he put his hand in and brought it out and wiped his head, moving his hands forwards and backwards. Then he washed his feet up to the anklet and he said this is how the messenger of Allah peace be upon him performed would do so first we read the hadith in which we studied that we wash our body part three times in a wudu in this hadith we come to know that we can also wash them two times so three times is not necessary, but it is sunnah. And two times, if anyone perform, wash them two times, still it is okay. No problem. Wudu is completed. If anybody has any question they can ask, then we will stop the class. Okay, teacher. The forehead and the ears, you can wash them only one time? Yeah, so instead of washing, we pass the, the wet hands yeah, for the on wet hands once only. On, only one, once only, okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Anyone else? And 
we also need to start the Quran class. So maybe we change the days for the class. Time will be same, inshallah, but we may change the days. So I will inform in the group if we change the days. See you all next time, inshallah. Masala. 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 Masala.